Okay, this is a test of the swivel. in conjunction with using an iPad. Setup was fairly simple. This is the little um, marker that is what the swivel is attracted to. And it does come with uh, lanyard so that I can snap it in here and that way if I want to do hands free I can wear this and as long as the swivel can sense where this marker is then it's going to tilt the iPad and the base is going to swivel to wherever I happen to move to so I can stand here and present the screen but as you can see because of the camera it is um, backwards on the video so that's interesting um, that may not be the best for recording screen type stuff but if we're in a classroom and we want to be able to walk around hands free and we can just want to make sure that the swivel can uh, be able to track the lanyard when I turned my back to it it lost that connection for a minute so uh, I can walk around over here um, actually there's a whiteboard over here if I can move this way and you follow me a little bit there's a whiteboard so I could probably do some stuff with a whiteboard um, an interesting thing that I before I started recording when I turned this on when I got it turned this way uh, quite a bit, um, this direction, and then I walked away rapidly, as you can see, it's continuing to turn in that direction because it is looking for the marker in the last place it was. And so it has to be able to sense where that marker is in order to come back to you. So it does seem to be fairly sensitive to speed. So if you're using this and presenting, then you are going to need to walk at a fairly um, slow pace so that the swivel can keep up with you. I don't, I didn't see anything in the settings that would allow us to be able to adjust the tracking speed. So um, we just have to keep in mind that uh, it's a little slower <laughs> and it needs to uh, catch up with us so but so that's kind of playing around a little bit with it I'm still trying to determine what um, what can be the uses for this it's coming down too low I'm noticing on my head and it's because the lanyard dropped so if I bring it back up a little bit it gets more me in there. So you might have to adjust uh, the lanyard a little bit to, to be able to keep the, um, keep the marker up high enough to, to if, especially if you're going to be sitting down and sitting close like I happen to be right now. But this would give you an opportunity to be, um, to be able to make presentations for your students. Uh, hands-free, you don't have um, headsets on uh, and doing your recording so it can capture you a little bit more in a natural environment. And uh, right now we have this set up in D115 um, to play with and to test. And uh, so hopefully people will find this to be a, maybe a useful tool for creating video. Thanks for watching.